In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, project planning, scheduling about villa construction projects that is uh, from Saudi Arabian project industry. And before getting into the detail of today's video, I'm going to make sure it that uh, this video is going to add too much value into your engineering career, into understanding of scale of Primera P6 and how in the real industry, managers, planning engineers are going to take up that data and how they are going to segregate into scheduling and all that right one more request please subscribe this channel so that in future if i'm going to make any video you will get that video on time right so let's start villa construction project so i'm going to share with you uh, primera p6 baseline for uh, one of the jazan baseline villa construction projects over here right so you can see this project and over here in this dashboard, you can see that there is architectural work, mechanical, electrical, material. But like this, if I'm going to scrolling it down and down and down, many people who are just uh, newcomers or uh, they are mid-career level engineers, they will not understand it fully, right? So let me share with you the slides one by one just to step up your concepts, right? So the first thing is project schedule levels. You know, whenever you are going to start learning that concept, if somebody is going to show you some complex slides, it means that guy don't want you to understand those things in easy way, right? So how I can make it easy for you people? Just remember this terminology project schedule levels. Whenever there is a project, there are different kind of levels. The same example I want quote over here. Whenever you are going to play any game on your mobile, what will happen? you are going to you know cross that level one level two level three and level four the same thing is happening here our every single project have different kind of levels so let's talk about level one your project is launched it is under consideration it is under study that is called feasibility within feasibility they are going to talk about about this villa construction that what is the need to construct this villa construction project why they choose that certain location what are the outcomes in the future? What is the revenue they are going to make from this villa construction project like profitability, right? So that is called feasibility. Within that feasibility, they are going to introduce their primary level, their very basic level schedule to which we call level one scheduling. So it looks like this one pre-construction, like how they are going to deal the pre-construction documentations, then construction and then post construction after delivery of this villa after going across the construction the project is delivered then how they are going to deal with that one so that is called level one now when feasibility is done approved and you are going to proceed into the details then it comes with level two schedule like it is approved now they are going to award this project to another party like contractor service company epc developer right any third party through a itt process invitation to tender or invitation to bid so that is called tender schedule at this level they are going to elaborate this schedule into more details like how it looks like i will be sharing one excel sheet over here and you can see that it looks like this one pre-construction will be further divided into general and preliminaries milestones mobilization design material submittal and all that construction now you can see that if i will be sharing that baseline with you people now you can imagine that how there is a level one green color you can see all these green colors in one way see this pre-construction level one right and at the same time you can see that pre-construction then construction it is also level one and the third one is post construction right like this one now what is our level two our level two is actually described in our excel sheet over here under this general and preliminaries milestone mobilization design and procurement within construction there is civil works and further civil work is subdivided because there is a coding right you can see it very precisely 1.2.1 is civil works because it is the breakdown of construction that is something we are going to understand in our scope management, how to divide our project into different kind of phases. WBS is work breakdown structure. Through this uh, technique, we are going to divide our project into further lower level and more, uh, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller components so that our project will be achieving at that level. We can calculate the quantification of the work, right? So that is our tender schedule. 
In tender schedule, we are going to add all of this information. Against this information, we are going to add duration, cost, estimated cost, and we are going to, uh, you know, make this document part of our bidding document, right? So then uh, after this level two schedule, there is level three schedule. This is called level three schedule, which you are actually uh, observing right now. This is all broken down at level four. Like you can see pre-construction is subdivided into general and preliminaries, design, material, and then further general and uh, preliminaries are further subdivided into milestones and mobilizations. So this is your WBS level. All the headings, this is level one WBS level, level two, level three. Okay, this is your activity level. These all, this is activity level, activity level, activity level. So activity is the project's lowest level. At this level, you are going to define how much work you are supposed to do, how much time you see. At this level, you are going to define the time, okay, at this level. And from this level, the work, the duration is going to add up and going to show over here. At this moment, might be possible you are saying this all 555 five, five is going to give the summation of a addition of 5. No, these are parallel at the same time, at the same 5 days, like from 10th of Feb, to 15th of Feb, they are planned. See, from 9th December to the 13th of December. So every, so that is why it is giving five days because the complete work package gonna be completed in the same, see, from 9th December to 13th of December because this is finish date, this is your start date, right? So this is level three schedule. Within level three schedule, the first category, uh, a planning engineer need to understand scope management the scope management will be taken from your BOQ documents, your contract documents, your uh, designing things, right? So uh, the process of, uh, uh, you know, proceeding your project planning and scheduling will be uh, on the behalf of all those documentations with project management team. Your project will be broken down into further parts. So level three will be developed when you are going to add those activities. So here it is very important that what the, the major important challenging area is how to add the scope. So you, say, you see that uh, if you talk about material submittals, all these activities will be added. I will go through step by step, architectural, aluminum, ladders, uh, you know, all these things are there. I will be sharing this uh, PDF file with you people when you are going to write down in the comment section area, right? So my team is gonna approach you and see substructure, site preparation, soil treatment, excavation, then foundation, all these activities are going to be executed on site area step by step and there is a logic when we are going to develop do this one and all the bars are showing the correspondence okay and uh, lower roof floor and all that see architectural floors elevation there is MEP work elevation electrical mechanical and then post construction so all that data will be loaded the step one that data first will be uh, structured in the excel sheet their different levels will be compiled then they will be loaded in Primera P6, then their logic will be defined, and then they will be assigned with resources, with man hours, with their durations. And that is how we are going to develop this villa construction project. That was higher level briefing, which I thought that I should share with you people to develop your concepts and all that, right? And then there is detail. So within this level three schedule, that this schedule will be detailed at activity level. Task level work quantity will be defined task level time will be defined resource accuracy will be there logic will be there and cpm development right critical path method that is the goal of level 3 schedule and then construction strategy will be on the behalf of development of critical path method then there will be level 4 schedule level 4 schedule means when we are going to assign resources you know on this project like we have 10 helpers so we can't take work of 15 helpers in a day so that is a resource limit that is going to justify why we are defining their 10 days, 20 days and all that. How to set up our productivity, how to assign that duration. There is a complete discussion. There are complete formulas, which actually I can help you to understand if you want to learn this project planning scheduling as per Gulf region industry oriented area or as per US market, you want to become a freelancer or you want to become a planning engineer. Still, you want to you can become a planning engineer. You need to understand Primavera P6 software, its functions, project management concepts, documentations, process, and uh, a little bit passion you need to carry with you to understand this skill and convert your existing job career into planning and control or project management. 
so if you want to become this uh, part of this journey you can write down there in the comment area or you can just take that uh, you know contact link from the video details and approach my team and be part of my upcoming live free master class in which i'm going to give you many more amazing things see you in my next video and don't forget to write if you are not part of villa construction project and you want me to work on some other project same kind of case study please write there in the chat box area